Hello guys, welcome back to the channel The Techie Guy and today we are solving the second part of our question problem named as player. So here we go on the second method. So our second method is named as find players by match type. Okay. So this is the name of the method we are going to solve. So let's read this. This method will take an array of player object okay so this method will take an array of player object and a string value as input parameter and return type is the player's object array of player object okay i think this is the thing we are doing first time so let's uh, do this and uh, belonging to the match type okay so match type is the string parameter okay that string parameter we have uh, okay so it is that match type okay and pass as input parameter in descending order of player id so what we have to do we have to return an array of object and uh, the array should be sorted in the descending order of player id if no player in the above conditions are present in the array okay so how we have to return null so that means if the array has no object which is matching with that match type so we have to return null okay so uh, now after doing this let's uh, find out how many of the question of what we have to do this method okay so let's come here and uh, let's see so this method find player by match type method so the method should print player id from the returned player array okay that we have to know and it is should be in decreasing order and if it is null the value sh it should print is no player with given match type okay and for the input it is printing this okay so let's without wasting time let's come jump to the problem itself and first of all uh, what i am going to do i just uh, copy this name copy and coming to our intellij id and right now from here from our previous method we are writing static and then this is the new thing which we are going to do our method certain type is array of object players okay don't worry with it we can uh, uh, discuss this later on and player and it is like the parameter itself is player array okay and we have to return the player array okay and then another string which is name as match type okay since we have taken the input from upper words of match type in our previous video here okay so we can use directly now uh, what we are going to do here we are just going to create another array and naming it as refined okay equal to new player array of size zero why we are going to create another array since if we got an match like uh, if we got match from this array like uh, this array with the match type defined as this then we are storing that match type uh, object in this array okay so for this i am using for loop and this for loop before using this for loop i am going to just return refined okay uh, since it is good practice for our bracket like where our method is ending that's why i have utilized this and we are using for each loop for for each loop you have to return data type so data type itself here is player i am using p to point here and arr means we have to iterate through an array now condition is if p dot get player id not get players match type dot equals ignore case match type which is coming through the parameter if this condition is true and what we have to do we have to call our refined and use array dot copy of function and what we are going to do we are creating an array copy and which is same like refined comma and refined dot length plus one okay so what we have done here arrays dot copy of is the name of the function so i hope yeah then what we are going to do here we are just increasing this length by one okay and if we now we have length one then we can store at last of it refine dot length minus one since the uh, indexing is based on zeros now we are storing that player here okay now in the refined array we have an objects whose match type is similar with this match type now we are going to sort it in decreasing order and uh, 
I have told you for sorting you can use arrays dot sort and you can call refined here okay now you have to write a dot b just to ensure that you have two parameters a and b now we have to use this and like we have to sort and descending so what we are going to do we are going to call b dot get player id so with this method you can uh, sort based on object and you will get this method nowhere else instead of me before going to do like before going we are just checking if refine dot length if it is equal to zero then return null from here we don't have to waste time okay so if this condition is true it is going to return this as it will return refined let's uh uh whether it is it's okay but uh we are returning it here okay and our code is completed this method is the shortest method you have seen ever okay uh, a separate video is coming on that so you can watch that video okay so i will make sure that that video should come in english since it's been recorded in hindi and uploaded also but uh, since it's been scheduled so you didn't get it let's uh, coming to the direct coming to the point let's call this method upper upper side or we have called uh, already okay no we didn't called it so let's coming here and call since this method returns and player array so it should be storing it in player arrays variable okay then calling this method and arr is our array and match type is this now we are checking if result is equal equal to null okay so what we have to print let's check it out from our question so question says no players with given match type we have to print so just copy this and we are pasting here okay it is giving error now it is good okay else what we have to do i'll just come here uh using our for each loop so that you get familiar with it since it has sort of syntax so here data type p is referring to the point and we are iterating okay now i have mistakenly dot arr you can also do this but not we we have to iterate through result okay now system dot out dot print talent and we have to print result dot get their id result dot okay so get okay why it is going to show error okay so it's showing us error just because we are direct catching to the array we have to catch through p and call it here so our code is done right now we are going to run this and uh, copying the first input uh, okay and it should print 67 14 11 since 16 is the minimum element and uh, i think we have not commenting out that so let's okay so we have got uh, uh, this is i am printing like p type as a state and uh, m type is one day so that you are going to be clear and output is our 67 14 11 uh coming to this 67 14 11 okay let's uh, run another k test case so it is uh it will show no such player and no such type with uh, like no players with given match type okay so let's come here and run this and yeah so no such player and no player with given match type okay so our input matches the output now what we are going to do let's uh, repeat this or revise this okay so we are storing that returning array into a data variable which is type also pairs array okay and uh, calling our method and if method is null we are simply printing a message and else what we are doing we are iterating through result array which is coming through this method and simply by pointing to this reference variable we are using this a note here let's uh i will show here for uh it will be good here uh you can use for int i equal to zero i less than uh a uh not arr dot length again what i'm is doing a result dot length and i plus plus and check you can sys out i'm you writing here only okay 
you can sys out uh, sorry you can uh, sys out your arr dot i uh, dot get player id okay so this thing is also going to work here okay so i hope you will understand this problem let's uh, this video is short so let's uh, utilize our time okay so what we are doing here we are just creating an array refined uh, which is length is zero it rating through this by using enhanced for loop or for each loop okay you have to get familiar with that since it has a simple syntax our data type here reference variable here and what we are going to reference through we are going to reference through this array then this array okay and you can use this so here p is meant by arr at i okay so it will uh, it will just give you an element okay which, which element is stored and checking if match type matches with this match type we are just increasing this size and uh, storing at last a element and now sorting it based on uh, de decreasing order if you are writing a here it will uh, sort in increasing order okay and now checking if length is null then uh, like if length is zero then it means uh, no object is match with this so we are returning null as we are returning refined okay i hope you understand so subscribe the techie guy channel if you have any doubts then comment on it if you have any questions regarding uh, regarding anything so you can post it into the comment okay so okay bye